Hey Internet, it's your old friend Dominic here with the All American Casino Guide. Now you may have heard of some stories about poker cheats using like marked cards or colluding between each other, but I guarantee you that those stories are nothing compared to the craziness, wackiness, and creativity behind the following gadgets and gizmos that we're going to be revealing in this video. Some people really went out of their way to create some truly complex and mind-blowing devices specifically designed to cheat at poker. So without further ado, let's get down to it. Number four, the James Bond device. In 2016, Ellie Burstein, an anti-fraud researcher working at Google, discovered there was a mind-blowing complex poker cheating device manufactured in all of all places, China, and being sold on the web for a paltry $5,000. The device consists of a deck of cards with an infrared marking and some other gadget which would allow you to read those markings and read the cards out to you through a tiny earpiece. When buying the device, you could actually choose which brand and type of deck you wanted, and you would receive an almost identical replica deck in a sealed pack that is essentially impossible to distinguish from its authentic counterpart. The only difference, of course, being that this replica had infrared markings printed into it that were invisible to the human eye. The device would read the markings, which would be included with the purchase. The, this also included a modified uh, smartphone with an inbuilt app that allowed you to change various settings like number of players, the game variations, so on and so forth. Um, this small device had an infrared camera that would need to be placed on the poker table and would scan the cards for you. Um, this could be anything from a modified car key to a cigarette lighter to a wristwatch. The device would scan the cards, almost like a barcode reader, and the earpiece would uh, tell you the rank and suit of the card on the top of the deck. The phone would also tell you everyone's hand from best to worst. You also had a remote uh, control so that you can control the number of players since that can vary from one round to the next. And of course, volume. Professor Burstein picked apart and analyzed all this technology and was really surprised at the ingenuity behind it. His theory is that this product is just the tip of an iceberg of a huge underground poker cheating industry judging only by the level of skill required to create such a device. He called it something out of a James Bond movie and also said that the same Chinese manufacturer who produced this cheating device also made cheating devices for blackjack, baccarat, and other card games. If you do some Googling, you'll find that this sort of device has become more and more popular and there are very shady online shops offering similar products. Number three, online poker bots. Now I've already talked about this before and I think that online poker bots are essentially ruining the online poker community. With this huge boom we are seeing right now of online poker play, there's been another boom, a boom of online poker cheats. These are essentially computer programs that were created to play poker so that you can just let them run in the background of your machine while you're making a lot of money off of low to mid-level skilled players. Even though these bots can't beat everyone, they're constantly being tweaked and improved upon. And there are already some experimental AIs out there which can beat any pro poker player on the planet. Jesus, try to say that 10 times fast. You simply install the bot, open your online poker site, sit back and watch the money roll in. You can even customize your bot strategy to your own liking and you can seek out support from the large bot community that's out there designing and refining these various uh, bots. You can even you can even have your bot play multiple hands at the same time. Although this is not strictly illegal, it is very frowned upon and of course is forbidden by every online casino I've come across. These companies are working diligently to refine their software so that they can detect these bot users better. But really it's a sort of a cat and mouse game. So if one knows what they're doing, they can easily slip by the security measures and start making some really good money with this particular piece of technology. It's actually really easy to get your hands on one of these bots. You literally just need to type online poker bots for sale on any sort of uh, search engine and you'll get everything you need. Now, I will preface this, I am not encouraging you to do that. In fact, I am discouraging you to do that because of what I said earlier, you might get banned or even suspect, you might get suspended or even banned from uh, playing poker online if you're caught using one of these devices. It's worth mentioning though that the people who create and use these bots don't really regard it as cheating, but merely an evolution of live poker play. They don't believe that 
Online poker should just be an electric version of live poker, but rather an entirely different playing field where technology can be used and uh, improve one's odds of playing. So it's really a bit of a moral gray area overall. Number two, and my personal favorite, the Keplinger holdout machine. For this, we're gonna go way back to the old west, to the 1800s in San Francisco, where there was a gambling enthusiast by the name of J.P. Keplinger, who made the history books by, by inventing a sophisticated card holdout machine. It consisted of a contraption hidden on his arm under his clothes, which actually resembled the hidden knife in the video game series and movie adaptations of Assassin's Creed. Essentially, it would just fire out this uh, card whenever you need it. The triggering mechanism was powered by a network of cables that allowed him to use it by opening and closing his legs. It would allow him to grab any card and hide it in his sleeve without anyone actually noticing. He would simply palm the card and activate the device. This allowed him to hide cards to use for later. Keplinger eventually got the nickname of the Lucky Dutchman because he won a lot and because I guess he was Dutch. But nobody ever found evidence that he was cheating till one fine day when his opponents got a little too steamed up over him winning too much and decided to grab him, pin him down, and rip open his shirt. They were frankly so amazed to find the contraption he was hiding that instead of gunning him down like the dirty cheating dog that he was, you know, cowboy style, they made him create more devices and formed a gang. The device got called the San Francisco knee spread because of having to open and close one's legs in order to trigger it. They cheated their way all across the Wild West and made serious stacks of money until they eventually were caught and thrown into jail. Cheating ever prosper. And the number one is the marked card device. Following up on our James Bond device, there's actually a number of providers of poker cheating devices online. Whether they are legitimate or not is another question altogether, but they are undoubtedly people willing to buy these things. So according to the laws of supply and demand, some of these shops have to be on the up and up. Most, if not all of these devices that you'll find online though, involve having marked cards. Whether it's purchasing the marked replica cards or just using this invisible ink. There are things like contact lenses that you can use to see the markings, which we've mentioned before in our video on the top gambling frauds of all time. That guy was just impressive, taking technology to a whole new level. Um, there are even fake lamps, smoke detectors, and all kinds of props with hidden cameras that will allow you to read the markings and let you know about them through an earpiece or through an app on your phone. There's truly some sophisticated stuff out there. However, there is one drawback, and that is you can't really use any of these things in a casino. And of course, unless you have an accomplice working there, it will be really impossible for you to mark the cards or replace the casino's deck with the one that you're using. So these devices are probably just useful in backroom poker games or in a friendly house game that you're having at your home with friends and family. But I really have to ask this question. If you're the kind of person who has to cheat to win, or the kind of person who wants to cheat their family or friends, what kind of person are you? So that's all folks. Let us know in the comments section if you've heard of any of these crazy poker cheating devices, or if there happens to be a device that we didn't mention that you're aware of. Also remember to clickety-clack that like button, slam that subscribe button, ring-a-ding-ding -ding that notification bell, and make sweet, sweet love to that share button. My name's Dominic. This has been the All-American Casino Guide reminding you, play responsibly.